Welcome back. Dr. Christine Darden will be at the Hampton History Museum to discuss the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics and NASA 2017 Hall of Honor inductees. This is all part of the museum's Port Hampton Lecture Series. So joining me to talk about this all is Dr. Darden. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. First, let's start and talk about your work at NASA. Kind of give us uh, all the rundown of what you've accomplished. Oh, well, I worked, um, I was hired as a computer, mm -hmm. but I started working in the minimization of the sonic boom of supersonic aircraft after I'd been there about five years. And I spent about 25 years working in supersonic aerodynamics, sonic boom, and in, in flap design and wing design of supersonic airplanes also. Oh my goodness. So I spent about 20, 25 years doing that and then I went into management and leadership of some of the offices. So you have spent a long time with this organization. Yes, I was there for 40 years. <laughs> wow. And so you have the incredible honor of next week speaking at this um, inductee uh, hall of fame. Yes, yes. I worked with a group that uh, presented the Hall of Fame uh, inductees last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we will talk a little bit about who those people were, mm -hmm. some of the wonderful contributions they made to the state of the art or to some of the facilities that we have there at Langley. And uh, it's, it's just so folks will know what's going on. I get excited when I get on an airplane and see something that I know somebody at Langley invented. Absolutely, and let's talk about how much of a difference have these people made not only in Hampton Roads, but literally for the whole world. <laughs> well, yeah, when they have impacted the airplane industry, these airplanes fly over in the entire world here. And so that is a, a huge uh, investment. The safety of the airplanes they have improved because of work done at NASA Langley. Wow. The predictions of our climate have improved because of work done at NASA Langley. The the way we test a lot of things in our facilities, mm -hmm. new test methods have, have been developed at, at NASA wow. Langley. And uh, often the co local con the local population doesn't know about all of those things. Absolutely, but it's in our own backyard. So can anyone attend this event? Yes, Okay. absolutely. And uh, let's talk about some of the messages you'll be sharing on Monday, November 5th from 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, how um, the, our atmospheric sciences work there and how many of the observation methods have been developed at Langley and how we've learned so much about how clouds and aerosols impact our climate and you hear a lot of that on the news. Absolutely. A lot of that work was done at Langley and developed the test methods developed at Langley. Uh, some of the military airplanes uh, actually fly better, have better predictions of how they fly because of inventions and tests that have been done at NASA Langley. Uh, certainly our, our regular airplanes, uh, we see the winglets and things that right. have been discussed before, but they were also in, uh, discovered at NASA Langley. Wow, amazing. Um, Thank and you. even the leadership methods. It's, uh, all, it's all a part of this important, important conversation. And Doctor, thank you so much for coming on. It's been an incredible honor for us. We certainly appreciate your work over the thank years. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.